a couple of key things with the bench press. First of all, make sure that if you are by yourself that you have some sort of safety mechanism, whether it's a crash bar set up or if you have a spotter, make sure that you are using that uh, so that if anything goes wrong, you've got that safety net in place. With the bench press, we want to make sure that elbows stand about 45 degrees. So most people when they like to bench, like to come with their elbows up nice and high here, with a lot of stress and strain on just that shoulder joint, we want to make sure that we avoid that. Okay, so elbows should be in, like I said, about that 45 degrees angle. If you're coming in too close, it's a different exercise, you're going to get a lot more in your triceps. So again, somewhere in the middle is going to be a main activation for your pecs, which is what we are primarily targeting on the bench press. Make sure that you keep your feet flat on the floor. And okay? so you're actually going to press through your heels and use your hamstrings, your glutes, and your core in order to help um, your bench press. So set up, you're gonna go lay on the bench, like I said, feet on the floor, your eyesight should be pretty much in line with that bar. Hands are going to be about a thumb sit so you can really are about right in line, so wrist over your elbows. And you're gonna lift the bar up off the rack, stay nice and tight, bring that bar down nice and controlled in a nice straight line, should be about mid-chest or so, like bottom of your sports bra, is the target we want to aim for. Again, wrist staying over elbows, elbows staying in at that 45 degrees, pressing all the way up. So again, pressing through your heels as you drive up, staying nice and controlled, making sure that you're not coming up too far here or down too low. Okay, either way, it's not going to be optimal for the next